know why you're happy today, because the impeachment thing is going to go on more. Isn't that what... <clears throat> well, they did. I thought they were going to avoid this. They never do, though. They're Tom and Louise. You're right, driving off the cliff. <laughs> they are going to call witnesses now. They said it today. They want to see Vernon Jordan, Sidney Blumenthal, and Monica Lewinsky. Or as they call them, see no evil, hear no evil, and dry clean no evil. <laughs> I don't know why they picked those three, Vernon Jordan, Monica, and Sidney Blumenthal, but apparently the Republicans are very suspicious of those trio, uh, that trio. Uh, Trent Lott today said, hey, come on, two Jews and the other guy's a lawyer? You know, I... um, but we will not see it. That's the thing. I mean, they're going to drag this out, but we don't get to see the good part. Monica Lewinsky, they will, they will do her be... Do, not do her. <laughs> They would like that. Uh, no, they will do this behind closed doors, videotape the testimony, and of course we love those videotapes, uh, with her lawyers present. And uh, Strom Thurmond today weighed in on this, you know Strom, 96, orange hair. <laughs> he said he's against all these newfangled techniques. He likes the old days. If she floats, she's a witch. <laughs> In other news, I'm sure you know the Pope is in America. He is in St. Louis. He gave a big mass at a racetrack uh, yesterday. No, it was. It was confusing, you know, uh, to the Pope and many others. He kept referring to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost as the trifecta. Which <laughs> I, I, and, he, and Clinton was there. Clinton met the Pope, thanked him for his spiritual guidance. Uh, he, he, did, he said the subject of Monica never came up. Although did, oh, Clinton did ask the Pope to bless Larry Flint. All right, thanks for coming. It's all been satirized. Thank you, folks. He won an Obie for playing Hamlet, but when the bad guys all get together at night, they call him Mike Hammer. Stacy Keach, yeah. Oh, that's a great that's intro. Great. Thank, you. That's great. Thank you. He's the Melody Morgan part. The Melody Morgan part of the Lee Rogers with Melody Morgan from San Francisco's KSFOAM. Melody Morgan. Hey, Melody, good to see you again. Thank you. His Wreck in Progress tour starts this March in his book, The Other Great Depression, as well this fall. One of our favorites, Richard Lewis. I know he's one of my favorites. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. And the band is Monster Magnet. The CD is Pirate Trip. He's David Windor. Dave. Hey, good to get you on here. How are you? Okay. I want to start with this. I'm sure you all saw this in the paper about a week ago. It's uh, Jerry Falwell, who's oh. a frequent guest on our <laughs> frequent guest on our show. I like Jerry Falwell. Yeah, he's a hell of a guy. <laughs> okay, well then you'll love this. The Reverend Jerry Falwell says the Antichrist is probably alive today and is a male Jew. Wow. What? <laughs> Oh, I got, I got a lot of calls to make. I got to go. <laughs> Did you really say that? Yes, he really said it. Oh, that is, is he a, that's live what, today? That's an anti-Semitic piece of crap. Oh, I, well, it couldn't possibly be true. We know that the Antichrist goes to church every Sunday on television, a Methodist church with a big Bible in his hand holding his wife's mm. <laughs> other hand. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what what does, does that mean? mean? I was there. Uh, <clears throat> The president? Oh, the president. Oh, yeah, oh, I see. The big Bible you're saying, the right, you're getting right to the president oh. because yeah. you're obsessed like, like every other president. Is this let's let's get on this well, one. I was, now, well, yeah. why couldn't the Antichrist be female? I'll tell you why. Point. Well, no, he will tell us why. So why, is he why do you think he's Jewish? Well, that, that's the point. I because think Christ was a Jew. Huh? Because Christ was a Jew. So okay. why? All right, but if Christ was a Jew, because why would the, would the guy against him be, it would seem to me he would yeah. be As Gentile. I was, no, 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 no. See, this is what I've been an impressionist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to defend Reverend Fall. Not that I, I'm not a religious person, and I don't believe in this. You go ahead and defend him, because I, the conservative, will attack him for you. Okay. Well, let me tell you why I'm defending him, because I think this, what the press has done with this story is the worst kind of cynicism, which is when you know the truth, but you know that the people who you're telling it to are not going to find out enough about the truth to investigate so you can get away with it. And all Jerry Falwell is saying is, according to the Bible, 
Jesus, the, the Antichrist will always be kind of like Jesus' evil twin on a TV show. That's what the Antichrist is. Therefore, he has to be Jewish because Jesus was a Jew, so the Antichrist would have to be Jewish if you believe in this law. Why does he help some homeless people? It's such a divisive <laughs> comment. It's such a... Really? And what's, you know, what's, what's the point of it? What's the point of him saying that? Because they think the world is going to end in 10 years. That's why. I'm going to... I'm Baywatch gonna, will be on way after the world ends, believe me. I am going to agree wholeheartedly with Richard. You know, Jerry Falwell is an extremely media savvy person. He's one of the most media savvy in the secular world. For him not to know the consequence of what that statement was was ridiculous. On the other hand, I went back and did a little research on the internet and I did read the full context of the press release. Right. I do agree the full that, context. The, you know, that it's his belief he, that the world is going to end and he, and he did a scripture reading. But you know what, to say that the, the Antichrist is, is Jewish and a male Really, it's, it's like, you know... It's but a if you, wrong, man. It's it, wrong in people. It, it, there you go. You know, the, yeah. the religious right no, no, takes no. so many hits anyway over things that, um, that mainstream America says about them. That they don't need but this But if you kind believe in the Bible and you believe in this... you believe okay. in the Bible? No, I do not. Can I check? Oh, I mean, but, you know, why are you just, going... Oh, because this is according to this belief. And he's saying oh, okay. that when, the, when he appears, the Antichrist appears during the tribulation period, the tribulation period is like... Last call at a biker bar. Right. It's just really <laughs> bad stuff. It's going to happen. Uh, okay. Ten me, years from now. Ten years from now. Very soon. Very soon. Very okay. Soon. okay. Uh, that's when the Antichrist appears, and uh -huh. he will be a full-grown counterfeit of Christ. So he has to be Jewish because Christ is Jewish, and then Jesus kicks everybody's ass. But just because, the you know, Jesus, uh, I, you know, I didn't see this happen. It wasn't any CNN or anything, but, you know, he did go south on religion. So I don't consider him not Jewish now. I mean, he, you know, he Ooh. took a... I just haven't seen Jesus. any guys walking Maybe around with six, his own, six, six his own tattoos gig, you know. on their foreheads. He's on his own gig. Jesus, no, yeah. no, Jesus was made a god after he died. I mean, he said he was the king of the Jews. Well, that but, was just for press. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's not... But, you know, he stopped, he stopped doing all the... He didn't go to temple anymore. He just he, he did a whole other trip. He went to temple. What do you mean? The Gentile. He no, he was, was a money changer. Yeah. I know he was a Jew, but then he went through the whole other thing. And no, other people, other people made him something. Give me a break. There's five, six million of us left. You want to see my tail next? <laughs> What's going to happen? Let us alone. This place is all about persecution. It's the same thing was happening to Clinton. Everyone's getting on people's asses That's for no reason. No, there's yes. some real good reasons to get on people's asses, and there's a okay. real good reason to get on Bill Clinton's ass. Oh, uh, I'm not going to talk about no, Bill no. Clinton, but we will talk about somebody else on somebody else's ass. When it comes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talk about a convention. Well, um, the theme of the show today, as it so often is, is what is politically correct, and let's attack that, and people being too sensitive. Now, the talk of Washington, D.C. today, I mean people in Washington, D.C., not your type who are obsessed with Bill Clinton. Oh, oh, I mean type. people <laughs> are talking about a, uh, a guy who works for the mayor, just lost his job. His name is David Howard. He was making a speech. He used the word niggardly, and they <laughs> fired his ass because they said it's, and of course it is not a racial slur, it's, a, it's from Scandinavian. Was oh, he Jewish? Was he Jewish? Now I know, now I know why they, in drama school, they, they teach you to pronounce your consonants. Right. <laughs> why yeah, but he pronounced it right. It just, listen to this, a guy yeah, said, yeah, it sounds like well, he grew up in America, right? He grew up, grew up in America. Uh, okay. uh, here's, here's a comment from someone, he said, uh, he said he, basically, I think he should have been fired. He should be punished because it's so close to a degrading word. Uh, exactly. That's nonsense. Remember, remember not too long ago, Bill, there was the incident in New York City where, uh, over nappy hair. Um, that was a, a teacher was teaching a, a young girl um, yeah. about uh, who was African American, out. and she had nappy hair, and she had a self-esteem problem, so she brought in this book. Parents had never even read the book, and they gave her so much grief over this book. They fired her. They, and and you know, she, she ended up resigning and said, the hell with this. Who needs this? Political correctness. Ill-educated people making but, these judgments like niggardly. But that's a little, yeah, but I mean, who, who, the N-word, man. I mean, it's like any, any idiot in the world would know. You don't go on. And you, don't, you just don't say it. Not but if this you're isn't that word. Yeah, it, it is that word. It is it's not, not that, that word. word. That's the whole point. It's we'll niggardly. Just go out and ask a million people what the, what that, how that's going to be perceived. So and we should dumb down to the idiots who don't know the words. We should cater to them. You want because to go on to say niggardly every day and see what happens? Go ahead. Well, I yeah. think probably what, what would happen, to, well, it won't happen to me because right. I'm, you're not I'm getting it. it out right up front. But this guy, <laughs> I guess I'll cancel my trip to Nigeria then. I'll get a list. Nigeria. There's a country in Africa, Niger. Should we, yeah. should we not use that word?
Can we not use any word that begins with N just because somebody might be pissed off? Oh, what you is change the pronunciation? All I'm saying is that the guy's an idiot for saying it. No, he's not. No, he's he's not an he idiot used, for saying he it. He used an, a very intellectual word, a word that shows that he has a vocabulary, actually, which is a rare thing in America today. Right. And he gets stingy. persecuted for it. Stingy. It means well, well, stingy. He's great now. Everybody loves him, huh? No, yeah, he's he resigned. He has no job. Yeah, he lost his job. Yeah. He's a stupid idiot. Well, he's he's not a stupid idiot. People who don't know the word are stupid idiots, okay? Look, I mean, any way you want to call it, if you're in a responsible uh, position like that and you go out and use a word like that... Dave, what do you think you the word means? Niggardly? Yes. Stingy. Yeah, well, Very we just good. heard that. Okay, well, we stingy does not mean a racial slur. It is not a slur upon anybody's parentage. Not technically, but it, uh, this is a word that has aggravated a lot of people for a really, really long okay. time. We, and we know in this world that people in the media operate and base advertising and base knee-jerk reactions off of words like nigger. That doesn't mean it's right. No, that doesn't, doesn't mean it's right at all. Look, but we have a guest on the show, Dean Kuntz. Should I never book him? Oh. <laughs> Should we not have him anymore because... Uh, well, I mean... Right. Whatever. It's, what is, what's the dossier on this guy? Is he a Klansman? No. No. No, I mean, what's the end of the... Now we're going to him back 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 like we have right, to do... Let me just watch, watch, get something in, because <laughs> your shirt's starting to attack me now. <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, what's the story? Is the guy suing? Is the ACLU coming? He lost his, his job, because there was such an ACLU coming to What about freedom of speech, man? I mean, don't you... I mean, If the guy's not alive... He resigned, I think he resigned because... He wasn't fired, he resigned. We don't have freedom of speech in this country. What we have is very expensive speech, Richard. Whenever you say something... That's yes, politically sir. incorrect, okay. you're going to pay a price. I mean, that's okay, whatever you say. Yeah, but I mean, this is not Al Campanis who made a statement about African Americans that was wrong. Right. This is a guy who just used a word that has nothing to do with African Americans. It's derived from Scandinavian, and mm -hmm. because people don't know the word, they're firing him. So we have to be, we have to rearrange the country around what the stupidest people think. That's what you're. <laughs> that's exactly that's your point. right. That, well, is the, that is the point, that we are dumbing down our standards, and we see it in our schools, and we see it in our higher education, or systems of learning, and I think it's terrible. And I think that this guy ought to get his job back, and he should get um, pay and compensation for the aggravation. The whole thing has me spooked. Okay, we're going to take it. We'll be right back. Um, let's talk all about uh, medicine and... Your mother uh, sucks in hell! Just try it up the side! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, well, I might, the Pope might just pop out any moment. I don't know. <laughs> the Pope, Jerry's right. The Pope did come out against exorcism. And he also yeah. said a nice thing about the Jews, so i And he can get seat to the Nick game in four or can't, so I go with and the big guy. And he damn like seven places on earth? What happened? Didn't he, like, the Pope damned seven places on earth? One of them was in Kansas. He Unholy, did? yeah. We gotta look into he it. it he damn really my cool. hometown? Some place in Kansas said it is unholy, and that's it. Because there's all kinds of cult stuff. And he's just a vapid, oh, yes. he's ungodly okay. place. Wow. That's um, seven. Thank you Don't for that, Dave. I appreciate it. Mm. <laughs> we know well, a lot of nightclubs you could have damned, huh? Over across the country? About 300,000? <laughs> all right, Bill, what's the question? I'm sorry. I just, I wanted I'm just. i an antichrist. Every now and then I'm allowed to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about uh, medicine because I know you're a hypochondriac. Well, so I want to move the tail a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> because you, you are always concerned about your health, and I always want to get your opinion and your feelings on these <laughs> matters. Now, okay, I'm going to drop the, the, second anyway. the latest controversy is that you can get certain uh, prescription medicines over the Internet, uh, most notably Propecia <laughs> and Viagra. Ooh. Over the internet. This could be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Why are you losing your hair? Mm. Um, <laughs> no. Oh, maybe she has a penis. Do you have a penis? No, no. no. Hey, Viagra. Oh, Viagra for women too. They oh, say. yeah. Oh, I don't need really? it. Antichrist. That's right. That's the kind of thing Antichrist would say. I'm trying it's it out. A, it's a plumbing thing. You know, the blood goes to the same spot, so things happen. <laughs> what is a, um, actually a very well condensed version of what goes on <laughs> and I would say the same about your pants <laughs> anyway um, now of course the doctors of this country and the AMA are against this because oh, let's be honest 
They're businessmen. They love money like the rest of us, and they're the middleman being cut out. Totally. It's like record industry, same thing. I'm in the record industry, and all right. the stuff going on the internet, exact same thing. Right. The internet is a pipeline directly to people, and this is a and, threat. And this is a good thing, not a bad thing. A right. pipeline to the people means that we get more information. Right. Um, it means that we can uh, join support groups if we become ill. We can educate ourselves about the illnesses that we have. It means that we can make in runs around HMOs. That's it also what could this be a means. pipeline to quacks too. You know, so it's right. yeah, buyer beware. You know, it could be a pipeline to a quack also. So buyer beware. But what? But what is somebody using? And Propecia is for baldness. Viagra, we yeah. know what that's for. What, what, why shouldn't these things be available over the counter to begin with? Why should I have to go into a doctor's office and pay his hundred dollar fee to get permission to take something that I should be able to get anyway? Yeah. Yeah. Every time I get a sinus infection, right. my child has an earache, I have to pay $100 to go to the doctor. I know, but if you cut your finger off by mistake, you know, typing, and you, you know, or your testicle rolls off, <laughs> you can't say, you can't ask the computer to help you, you know what I mean? You've got to do something. I, I with you, the HMOs, you know, you can't go to therapy, forget that. Three sessions and you're out. They go, oh, suicide. You have to think that suicide is an alternative to depression? I mean, it's really a shaft. I mean, you want to ask me about this whole thing? I think it's I great. You've got to get help on, on the Internet. Because you know what's going on now? It's really a, a, it's a shaft. You know, the insurance companies got shafted by doctors forever. Now they're getting back at the doctors, and the doctors are, are screwing us. That, because we, now, because of the HMO situation. Because the doctors are putting everybody under the knife for no reason. Like, they, were, they were doing operations like left and right for years and years. Like, gee, you have a little bit of a phlegm, you know, take your appendix. I mean, there was, there's thousands of stories like oh, that. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, you right. go to the HMO, you're lucky if you can even get like a prescription for tissues for a cold, man. So, and, and, and I'm more concerned about the mental health for, you know, for reasons that... that are obvious. Oh, that's... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. that well, was I'll a, tell you, that, that's historic. That, that, that was quite a shot. Huh? That, yeah. Don't, don't what happen yet? So if you go on the internet and you're asking for a prescription for something and you get the prescription and it turns out that you take something and it's not good for you and you, you know, you're gone. But how could you that, have any recourse? How could that happen with Propecia or Viagra? Well, what, Viagra? You may have something in your system that doesn't agree with it. I mean, uh, would you, uh, Viagra, I mean, we know that Viagra is not good for certain people who have heart conditions, supposedly. Well, well, I mean, as we, as we go into, like, this is like a science fiction age of drugs, man. I mean, this is like a fantastic age for drugs. Um, there are more new drugs in coming. Where are you going with this? You're taking them all. Wow. What do you mean? Wow. What's your website, there more, man? There are more subtly effective and untested drugs being on the market now than ever before because the guys, let's just face it, the chemists are better at what they do now. You, the market or the street are you talking um, about? <laughs> the market. Oh, no, no, the street drugs are boring. It's pharmaceuticals. It's like antidepressants. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's that's, that's quite a stuff. comment. It's, and, and it's a mixture. It's, <laughs> right. There's going to be, you know, we don't even know what happens when, uh, people don't even know what happens when you mix antidepressants with alcohol over the course of 10, 15, 20 years. Talk so, to me later backstage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it makes people crazy. So there's a big risk of people just ordering all this stuff, gobbling up tons of like weird herbs that'll, that'll uh, affect them strangely. But hey, it's, it's them. It's one them. one thing we know is going to happen for sure. sure. As time goes on, there, there's going to be a time when we're going to be able to put our finger or our hand on our television screen. It's going to read a DNA printout It'll tell us all the things that are going wrong with us, what we need, what we don't need. This is, this is the future. It's going to happen, for sure. My future? I hope. I mean, but it won't work on the Internet so, I mean, because people are already using their hand for something else. That's right. That's right. That's right. We'll take a break. We'll be. When our guests will be Sherry Long, Deborah Gibson, Bob Larson, and citizen panelist Matthew Rainwater. All right, tomorrow we are going to have, hello, Shelley Long, Deborah Gibson, and Friday we got Christina O'Donnell, Stephen Wright, and Ben Affleck. We got about 10 seconds. How are you, mother? Oh, it's just <laughs> John Starfield. So why is Bill Clinton the, the Antichrist in hey, five hey. seconds or more? Oh, yeah. Bill Clinton is the Antichrist because he's uh, degraded our moral values. Oh, oh get oh, Country oh, all, Richard oh, Lewis, you are great. Melanie Morgan, you are great. Lovely. You cannot stand this president.